What's up, Packsters? We have an exciting new package in the office today. I'm going to be unboxing the NXP Rapid IoT Prototyping Kit. It's got a bunch of cool stuff integrated. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's a really nice sort of matte box here. It describes the contents on the back. We've got an application controller based on ARM Cortex M4 core. And we can take a look at the website for some more of the specs in a second, but I want to get this open so that we have something cool to look at. Ooh, the inside has got this kind of blue printy design. We've got the same contents list as on the back. And this sweet little quick start guide. Congratulations on purchasing your own... Ooh, what's this it comes with? Maybe for pushing reset buttons. Play with the pre-programmed applications to get you running out of the box. Tinker with the online IDE. I'm really excited to check that out. Um, and develop with automatic source code generation for MCU Expresso, allowing you to bring your own unique IoT idea to life. And then, of course, you go to nxp.com slash rapid dash IoT if you want to learn more. Here's our little quick start guide. You just plug it in, and here's a description of the interface. You've got four touch inputs, and then four sort of button inputs. Here's a description of how the menus are set up. You've got the applications menu, which allows you to communicate with your sensors, as well as a couple of little more complex applications like fall detection, a tap counter, and an RGB LED controller. Settings for the different wireless options. And it can also function as a sensor tag, which is pretty sweet. A couple of services to make your life easier. And then sensor selection. This rapid IoT app, plus some options for feedback. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside for now. We've got the little rapid IoT guy itself. Oh, look, you can stick it onto other designs. And as I thought this little guy is useful for poking some sort of reset button, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. For a demo, this USB cable is a little short, so I'm going to go ahead and use one of my own. And I've already got fingerprints on the screen, so it goes, ooh. Those are our RGB LEDs, cool. I wonder what this little hole corresponds to. There's definitely some kind of a sensor back there. Powered by Atmosphere, atmosphere at iot.com. Ooh, here we go, thermostat. Then we have, ooh, humidity. Cool. 5TX, 2TX, and back to 25. Oh, it's Lux. Uh, I wonder if this here is the light sensor then. Yeah, haha, <laughs> cool. Pressure, zero parts per billion of some kind of particle is in the air. Hey, it's got shake detection. <laughs> Free fall. Cool. Tap count. Cool. And that does not reset when you change apps. RGB LED. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Let's look at the Bluetooth settings. Ooh, it's on. Plus I can toggle that. So I've just provisioned the device in the app, which is a pretty straightforward process. And you can use it to control the lights, as well as get readings from the various sensors. Beyond that, you can also configure widgets, which are basically little mini displays that show whatever information you think is especially important. And you can also create those on the Rapid IoT Studio website. If you go to the page for the kit itself, then you'll find all the features that are mentioned in the contents, plus a bunch more useful stuff, including a digital copy of the user guide and a link to buy it. So this kit is based on the Kinetis K64 MCU, and it's based on an ARM Cortex M4 core. You've got BLE, Thread, and Zigbee wireless communications. It works is an NFC tag, which is cool. It's got a hardware security chip, as well as a ton of sensors. So of course you've got your gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, uh, barometer and temperature, so you can get altitude, air quality, ambient light, and capacitive touch. Those are those four buttons we looked at. The Rapid IoT Studio IDE is actually this online graphical IDE, which we're gonna check out in a second. Plus, if you wanna go deeper, you can use the automatic source code generation. The iOS mobile app, and this is also compatible with the NXP IoT modular gateway. What is that? That is basically like a router for your IoT devices. It allows you to connect to your Zigbee and Thread-based wireless devices securely with the cloud via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, which is what this guy connects to. Super cool. 
The online IDE we mentioned is really convenient because it doesn't require any installation and it's always up to date. Plus you can sort of take your code with you wherever you go. So no matter whether or not you're working on like a borrowed computer or at an expo or something, you'll always be able to get access to your code and update it. Now this thing is still powered on, but it does have this very openable case. So it seems like I can open it without messing up the uh, operation. So I'm gonna try opening it up and see what happens. This is basically a double unboxing. Cool. Oh. <laughs> there goes one of the buttons. As expected, it's just a little plastic cap over a tactile switch. You've got these hardware connectors. Here's your reset button on the back. So actually, if we push that, then it'll go through its little reset process. I'm taking care not to touch the actual circuit board here. Okay, so from the looks of it, I can't just pull this out because it's got some actual adhesive in there. But Behind the screen is where the little battery is lodged. And I've only charged it for a few minutes, so it's nice that it's still going strong with all those sensors and everything running. You've got the Kinetis chip here, the K64. Super cool. So I'm gonna put these back in. It's kind of cool because you can see how the NFC tag is connected through these two little pins that correspond to these little spring pins on the control board. Let's snap it back together again. All right, I didn't expect the double unboxing, but that's very exciting. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. Remember to go to nxp.com slash rapid-iot if you want some more information on this, and we'll catch you soon.